Hello and welcome to a new video about using FreeCAD, the CAM workbench to make things on the CNC. This time I'm going to show you a quick tip about getting almost perfect square corners. As you know, these two corners always get a round over radius equal to the radius of the cutter bit. I'm not going to do some magic, obviously there will be a small round over and I will use a very small tool bit. It's not magic, but I will show you how to get this result very fast and with minimum risk of breaking the tool bit. Because a 1mm tool bit is obviously very easy to break. So let's get started but before that I have as always to thank all my sponsors which are you the ones that keep on watching my videos, sharing them, liking them and of course the ones that support me by subscribing to my Patreon account. You can find the link in the description of this video. There you will find a lot of helpful things such as macros which are available for free to download and if you subscribe you will also find all the files that I am creating or using in my videos. You can download them and look deeper into them. If you don't feel like subscribing yet you can find two products there, a $3 thanks and a $10 big thanks which is a one time only financial help and from now on if you want some quick help and don't know how to do certain things you can buy on my patreon page a one hour session of one on one video call I will help you with all the things that you need to know in order to set up your jobs correctly and get what you want so let's get started as always the first thing that we are going to do is create a new job I am in the come workbench I will click on the job button I will use a template a six millimeters hardwood template and make sure the body that you want to mill is selected click on ok because I'm using a template everything is correctly set up if you want to know more about templates check the video on my channel about creating templates it's very easy to do it and helps a lot of time now I will click ok to close the job dialog open the drop down and I will select all these three faces holding control down and create a new pocket operation I will change the pattern to offset, click on apply to see what happens, everything seems ok. But the default settings of the pocket shape operation are a little bit odd. Let me open the simulator, the new simulator in 0.22. You can see the default settings leave a round over at both ends. For the open ends we can easily solve that. I will close the simulator and now go to the pocket shape operation, double click on it, go to the extensions tab, check the enable extensions button. You will find a list of edges here. If you click on them you will see them highlighted. So I will press ctrl a to select all of them and click on enable now they are purple and if i click apply you can see that freecad will extend this face with this extension the dimension is set here in default length of formula and it's half of the tool diameter you can anytime change this value either write a simple number or modify the formula whatever suits your needs and this will extend the face so the highest point of the cutter bit will mill all the way to the end of the pocket so i have solved this problem let's double check it in the simulator i will just drag this to the end and everything is okay now the pockets will be straight at the end at the open ends but I still have to solve this round over at the other end. The easiest way of doing things that I have found is using a very small diameter tool bit. After clearing most of the material using the 6mm tool bit I will use a 1mm tool bit. So in order to add another tool bit to an already created job double click on the job go to tools click on add just as you do when initially setting up the job set horizontal and vertical speeds and the spindle speed i will use very small speeds 700 and the spindle speed of 18,500 rpm click ok to close the job and now i can use that tool bit since i already have this operation the pocket shape that it's milling using a six millimeter tool bit i only have to clear the corners there is no such thing as an operation that i can invoke and tell it clear the corners so i will make a profile and i won't be doing it for for all the holes for now because we are going to use an array after setting up everything for this hole because they are evenly spaced I can use an array select these three edges create a new profile operation go to the depth tab select the bottom face and click on the arrow next to the final depth go to the tool controller and select the one millimeter end mill now the profile operation is correctly set up but it goes all the way here I don't need all that milling the walls here are correctly milled so I want to limit it here I will click on OK, select the profile in the tree, the profile operation, go to the CAM menu, path dress up and select boundary. Here I have to modify the extension at the start of the Y. Set a top view 
and decrease this value just to have some small continuity on the ends i think minus 33 is okay in my situation click on apply and now you can see the operation is limited very close to the corner if i use a very large diameter tool bit for making the initial pocket the radius here will be pretty large and the one millimeter tool bit first of all might not clean everything correctly and it might easily break i will double click on the profile operation i will write an extra offset of one millimeter i want it to be to the inside with a one millimeter offset this will cover the entire radius of the larger tool bit depending on the tool bit you might use a different extra offset this modification will leave the corners with a small round over for that i have to select the profile operation not the dress up because you can see the copy button is disabled if i select the dress up so select the profile operation click on the copy operation in the job button you can also invoke that from the menu now i have a profile operation which is simply hidden i will press space i want to edit it because i want to change the extra offset to 0.5 millimeters you can see now it goes closer to the walls i will repeat this i will copy this operation go to the extra offset and for the final pass i will leave a, an extra offset of zero millimeters so it will mill correctly you can see that both these extra operations are going all the way so i have to limit them to the dress up doesn't support more than one operation so i have to use the boundary dress up for each of them there is a little trick to make things faster go to the cam menu path dress up boundary and instead of modifying the y value again just go to use existing solid and select the stock 001 if you don't know what stock to select go to the initial dress up and check the name here this is the stock that you have to use for the other dress ups so they are limited the same way go to the second profile go to come menu path dress up boundary again select use existing solid stock 001 all the three operations are limited to just a small movement on the y-axis and then clearing the corners progressively it's a sort of an adaptive operation but without all the hassle and all the slow calculations involved in the adaptive operation and now you might ask why i didn't select all the lines to create the profile and then limit them and the best way to do that is to simply show you i will edit the first operation go to base geometry select the lines of the second hole click on add select the lines of the third hole click on add again click on apply and now i do the same for the copied profile operations you can see all the holes are correctly milled click on the job and scroll down you will see a cycle time of 31 minutes huge amount of time for simply correcting the roundness of three corners of six corners for three holes why does it take so long because for each height it will mill the first hole then move to the safe z height move to the second hole and so on for all of the three operations Remember Remember this number almost 32 minutes and I will remove the extra lines from here and I will show you the much faster way. Now we are back with just the one here. I will select all the three dress ups holding control. Do not use shift because it will also select the stock and the base operation and this is something we don't want to happen. So hold control select the three dress up boundary operations and click on this button array. It won't pop up a dialogue for the array. There is no dialogue. I have some settings here. The base is already set up because i have selected the dress ups set the number of copies to two because when counting the number of copies the camera array won't count the initial operation so i want extra two copies i want to set an offset on the x-axis i want it to move to the right let's move to the linear pattern when creating the body i have created the first hole and then use the linear pattern to replicate them because it's much faster this way and if you select the linear pattern you can see here the offset 36.5 millimeters go back to the array in the cam operation and set an x offset of 36.5 millimeters i have the same operations that i have previously created by changing the base geometry now let's go to the job and you can see here a cycle time of 10 minutes and 42 seconds compared to the almost 32 minutes is much much faster but we can still improve some things the default safe and clearance height for my operation were the stock height with an addition of 35 millimeters all this height means time lost when the cutter head goes up and down i will go to the job go to the setup go to default values and change the clearance and the safe height 
to 5 millimeters and you can see all the operations have updated but for the initial profile i want it to go all the way up so for that i will double click on the pocket operation go to heights and manually modify the safe and the clearance height for this operation now i will go to the job and you can see a cycle time of 6 minutes 43 it's obviously a big difference and compared to the 32 minutes when not using an array but selecting the base geometry together in the profile operation it's a huge difference instead of doing the same thing in 32 minutes it will only take 6 minutes 43 almost 7 minutes so this is the way to get almost perfectly square corners when milling this type of closed pockets you have to use a very small tool bit it's an end mill for milling pcbs but it works great in wood too to support me go to my patreon account you can subscribe there or if you don't feel like subscribing yet you can find a thank you a three dollar gift if you want to help me a little bit more there's also a big thank you a ten dollar thank you and if you decide to subscribe you will find this file along with all the files that i have created in my videos if you want some quick help and don't know how to do certain things you can buy a one hour session of one-on-one -on -one video call i will help you with all the things that you need to know in order to set up your jobs correctly and get what you want thank you for watching and see you next time